So I am having a fun Saturday morning. What we have here is a squirrel cage with the blower motor of an AC unit furnace in the attic. I pulled this out because we were hearing really bad noises in the house. We were getting vibrations in the ceiling. I knew something was going on. Come up here, all kinds of noises coming out of this uh, AC unit, turned it off and I began to start taking off the panels. I knew it had something to do with this panel. Sure enough, this squirrel cage was going kind of crazy. Of course, I turned off the switch. You definitely want to turn off your whole system switch before you touch anything, but opened it up. I had to turn the switch back on so I could test it. And yeah, it was the squirrel cage vibrating, making all kinds of squealing noise. Now, first thing I thought was blower motor bearing going out. It sounded a lot like it, it was squealing. So I pulled this whole cage out and I took the motor out. I took the, the motor, as you can see, there's no fan blade in there right now. I took the motor off and I took this fan blade out. Well, there it goes, it just kicked on. So I'm trying to test the motor. I got it all hooked up. That motor sounds fine to me. I don't have any squealing, no vibration. It's a pretty old motor. I may buy one anyway and, and replace it. But really not much going on. That motor's spinning fine with no problem. I'm gonna turn this off real quick because it's done what I need it to do. Every home with an AC or furnace in it should have one of these switches that kills power to your AC unit. Turn that off. Now the power and everything to the AC unit is turned off so I don't electrocute myself in the attic. That seems to be working fine. Again, I'm probably gonna buy a new motor because I know this motor is getting old and if any damage happens inside the squirrel cage and throws this thing off balance, which it was vibrating, it could mess up the bearings and and if nothing else, I'll get another motor and I'll just have it as a spare because I don't want this thing going out in the hottest part of Texas heat. I don't know if you know, but it's horrible. And usually in the summer, in the, in the just hottest part of the summer, every single AC tech is working 20 hours a day and they just can't get to you. That being said, I checked the motor just now, as you can see, I checked out the motor physically. I didn't see any problems with it. But what I did see was this. And I don't even know why I checked this because I've never ran into this problem. I'm gonna show you something and you put down in the comments, what's wrong? Now, does that supposed to happen? No, it doesn't. So what has happened here is however they go about putting these on, it does not look like it's ever welded. It looks like it's almost crimped, like they come in and bend little tabs where these blades are to keep this main wheel from spinning inside of this fan housing, I guess you could say, because these little blades and everything's supposed to spin really fast. It sucks air in, and that's how all this works. Now, if the motor is spinning this wheel and these blades aren't turning, I mean, eventually they're going to turn a little bit because of friction, but these have a lot of load put on them trying to push air through the AC unit so they're never, even with this moving, you would think, oh, maybe over time it'll just pick up to speed. No, it will not because there's too much force being put on these blades. So you're just gonna constantly hear this thing sliding inside. And as you can see, if we get a little closer, this edge over here is kind of grind down. So that was the squealing I heard, not so much the bearings from the motor. It was this blade inside of the squirrel cage, just spinning and spinning and squealing. And that's probably where the off balance came because you know now this probably thrown off balance. So here's what I'm gonna do. And I don't know if it's gonna work because it's a temporary fix and parts, I, don't, I can't find anybody around me that will sell me anything AC wise. You gotta be licensed, even though this is easily something you could repair on your own, but I can order it online. So I'm gonna do a temporary fix on this squirrel cage fan blade. And I'm gonna put this thing back together and I'm gonna test it and see if it is running and not going crazy. If it runs okay, I'm gonna order me a new housing, maybe the entire squirrel cage housing, I don't know, and I'm gonna order me a new motor. So this is what I'm gonna to do to fix it. If you look, there's all these little bins, it looks like, that they came in and they like maybe pressed it against these blades and that's what kept this thing together. So I am, you know, gonna rig it, which sounds sad, but I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna go in from the outside of the blade and I'm just gonna roll through this thing and hit this edge. And it's like a Y-shaped edge. So if you hit it with a flathead, it should widen. And basically that should push that bend up against these blades. 
and it should push it against these blades and hold it together temporarily. And I may even put a bend in the front and a bend in the back just so that it doesn't move back and forth for any reason and eventually wear itself back out again. But man, this is crazy. I haven't seen this before. So I don't know if this is just a faulty squirrel cage. I do believe the squirrel cage is probably 10 years old. So to me, it did its job. But when they come and put new AC units in, which we recently had done, they don't take out everything. They just put in like a new coil and hook it up to your old furnace. And this is the blower motor for the furnace and everything. So I'm pretty positive this never got switched out. Anyways, let me do my little repair on this and we'll see if it works. Let's look at this now. All right, this whole thing is turning like I would expect it to turn now. And this is what I did. So first thing I did is I went out on the outside here with a flathead screwdriver and I was pushing in on these edges and that worked. But that was kind of a pain and I was kind of worried about throwing off the balance by, you know, hitting one side further than the other or anything like that. You know, the slightest weight difference could really throw this thing off. So what I ended up doing, and I'm going to show you here. So if you look close, the camera will focus in there. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is kind of a Y shape. So it's two plates put together and it's got like a little Y in it. If you can kind of see there that holds these blades and there's like a V shape in the blade and then it goes along the edges. All right. So what I did instead of doing the screwdriver, which was kind of taking me a little while, I got me a pair of needle nose vice grips and I tightened them all the way and I just went in here and I just started clamping them like every third one. And instead of it pushing that metal out each direction, it pulled it in in the middle, which either direction looks like it would be fine because when you pull it in, it's now gonna be hitting that little V shape going in versus hitting it with a screwdriver and pushing against the outside parts of it. So either way, you're really just trying to make sure that the metal in the middle there is going to touch that fan blade evenly as much as you can all the way around this so that way there's force on all of these fans. You don't wanna just do one or two of these because then you're just putting all of that spin force against one or two of these blades. You wanna evenly do it all the way around this like if you'd be putting lug nuts on your car. And I was even trying to do one side then the other and then walk it that way to try to keep it in balance because you also don't wanna have that middle plate there that spins leaning one direction or the other. Again, very sensitive to balance issues probably with these, I'm guessing. But that seems to be holding really well. I put a little force on the outside versus the inside to try to make it spin and I can't spin it by hand. So I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to hold this in place and you're gonna get to find out. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I'm gonna put this thing back together and we are gonna find out together if this is gonna at least be a temporary hold. Now I'm putting that disclaimer in here. This is not my normal redneck engineering that I plan on leaving in here for a long time. No, I'm gonna put this together. I'm still gonna order these parts, even if it may be a little bit expensive and worst case, I'll leave them as spares in a box. But most likely when I get them, I'm gonna come up here, take these old ones out, put the new ones in, and then keep this in the house of spares. I, I always keep parts like this for spares. I'm gonna get this thing in there. We're gonna get this thing spun up and fingers crossed, it will at least last for two or three days. Um, without issue that is, I'd rather have no AC than have problems that create bigger problems. So just know that, that's all my disclaimer, but I'm going to put this thing together and if it seems great and running perfect, I'll let it run until I get my new stuff. All right, squirrel cage put back together, fan blade put on, motor put on, capacitor plugged in. Now I need to slide it into the opening that it needs to go into, the housing. There's a couple bolts that hold it in. All right, so I've got it all packed back in there. Control panel, everything I got all hooked up. This is the outside panel that has to be closed to hold in. There's a little safety switch down here, and if this panel is off, that safety switch is triggered, so you can't run the system. And that way it doesn't start sucking in just everything nasty out of the attic. Because that fan blows pretty hard. I mean, it, it would probably suck up some of this trash around it and I don't want that. But anyways, I'm going to sit here and wait for this thing to kick on. I think there's like a minute or two delay. A lot of these units will have like a little sight glass here too to let you see the board. To make sure that you can tell their power's getting to the board. That's what that little red light is in there to let you know that I have the switch on. Power's getting to the board. So as soon as this... Uh, reset happens and everything and the thermostat tells it to kick on it's gonna kick on 
All right, I just heard the compressor kick on outside. has a little bit of noise. I don't know if that's normal or not. Here, let me get closer and hear it. But again, like I said, I am going to order these parts. I'm not gonna just sit around and wait for it to fail again. I'm gonna order these parts. This will be a temporary fix but I'm getting no vibration, or if there's any, it's very little. I see this wire moving just a little bit. So, it means there's a little bit of vibration. Very little. Nothing like it was. This thing was jumping earlier, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this for a little while. I think worst case, it'll go out again, but hopefully it gets through at least two or three days to get the part shipped. And that's it, that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna put this back together now and go inside and make sure it's cool in the house. So I'm inside the house and this is one of the larger intake vents. We've got probably four of these throughout the house pulling air into the AC unit. And if you listen, you really can't hear any squealing. I mean, it was pretty loud before. So it hasn't been squealing. It's actually been doing great all day. And I think most of the noise I was hearing up there was just kind of the wind. I did hear some noise, I think, from the, the squirrel cage, but I think a lot of it was just wind blowing through that uh, that housing. And anyways, again, total disclaimer, this is a temporary fix. Parts are already ordered on their way and I should have that with new parts in it in like two days. But I'll let you know if it fails on me, but I think it should hold for at least two days. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.